the thing that you have to appreciate about Stephen Ray is in his professional life, he has been unapologetically ambitious to pursue and to create the conditions for the theatre that matters, that he wants to partake in. And that has put him in the same room as Samuel Beckett or Harold Pinter or Sam Shepard or Brian Friel or Stuart Parker. That in itself, that's a series of awards. And I hear you're writing our history, Peter. Ah, Harry's been talking. Have you begun? Congratulations, Stephen. It's very clear to me that this award isn't just about what you did in the past, but what you're continuing to do with Field Day. I personally am very privileged to be the first woman playwright that Field Day commissioned. It's a real honour, and I hope that you keep up the good work and really enjoy the award. I think it takes a while to penetrate the severe face, but when you do, you realise that there is a tremendous sense of anarchy there and a tremendous sense of lunacy there, which is very attractive behind that facade of, you know, dear God, what have I got myself to up to here? <sighs> Can I sit down? <coughs> Stephen is one of those rare actors who makes theatre happen around himself. And Stephen's vision of theatre is of total theatre where each element is developed to the highest possible standard. And it produces this intense and daring version of human life on the stage. This is not comfortable theater. It's transformative theater. And to get there, Stephen puts demands on others as much as upon himself. And that can be very uncomfortable indeed at times. But then, that's exactly as it should be. I only know what I know. The passing years will show. The nicest thing is being on stage with him. Because it feels like the easiest thing in the world. And it feels like home. I speak straight to you. He's very kind, very sensitive. Great humility as an actor and a person. And it's just such a pleasure to congratulate you on a special award this evening. Congratulations, Dad. Lots of love and have a great, great evening. It was a public statement and I heard it. So you set out. It was deliberate to cross your own king. I think Stephen Ray is a man who maybe deserves two lifetime achievements awards. One for what he's done, one for what he's going to do. There's no stopping them. We can try, but there's no stopping them.